Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's Forex video, I want to talk about breakouts. Now, if you are new to our channel, breakout trading is one of our recommended ways to trade because it's very beginner friendly and it's easy for your psychology. But the issue is that I will see a lot of traders trade breakouts wrongly and that is why I want to address uh, this issue in today's video. Okay, I want to go through some of the common mistakes that I see a lot of traders make as well as give you a bonus filter that uh, you can incorporate into your breakout trading setups to help uh, increase the probability. So specifically, this is what I'll be covering today. Okay, I'll talk about the first mistakes which I see a lot of people do, uh, which is chasing after breakouts. Okay, they enter too late. And when they enter too late, what happens is that uh, the numbers don't make sense. I want to give you an example to show you uh, why it doesn't make sense and hopefully convince you that uh, you shouldn't be doing this. Then I also want to talk about the second mistake which a lot of traders are making, but they don't realize that they are making this mistake. Okay, personally, this is a mistake that uh, I used to make. Sometimes I still make this mistake. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm human just like you. But uh, in this part of the video, where I just want to show you an example of why you shouldn't be trading a small breakout against the big trend. Okay, and then lastly, of course, I want to go uh, and show you what to do instead. Okay, so in our Forex videos, we always like to show you what not to do and what to do. Okay, we don't just want to stop at uh, what, to, what not to do and leave you hanging. We want to correct uh, what you're doing wrongly and then after that, show you the right way to do it. Okay, that's the purpose of our Forex videos. That's what we try our best uh, to do. We give you practical steps to help you become a better trader. Now, of course, the last, lastly, I want to talk about the bonus filter. That's uh, if you stay to the end. Okay, so hopefully uh, you are excited for today's lesson. Okay, by the way, appreciate if you could just give us the uh, thumbs up, right? Help us like this video because it will help us reach more traders just like yourself. Hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button at the same time because uh, we create videos like this every single day to serve you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below because uh, we will record a video to help you you know, to address any questions that you might have, okay? We also have a free day trading guide. So uh, the link is in the description. If for some reason you've been watching our channel and you haven't downloaded this, okay? You're crazy, okay? It's free, it's totally free. There's no catch. So make sure you download it if you have not. So let's talk about mistake number one. Okay, what's mistake number one? Mistake number one is very simple. It's people tend to chase after breakouts, okay? So what do I mean by chasing breakouts? So let's consider uh, this example over here. Let's say uh, you see that there's a swing high over here and uh, you are a breakout trader, okay? So if you watch some of our other Forex videos, okay, I'll leave a link in the top right. Uh, you will know that uh, we recommend doing tra uh, breakout trading, okay? We have the best trading strategy. The uh, video title is called Best uh, uh, Forex Video Strategy, something along that line, in which we teach you how to trade breakouts. Now, the issue is that most of you uh, do it wrongly and you guys chase after breakouts. So what happens is that you see something like this and uh, you buy on this candle somewhere here. Uh, when price closed this, uh, above this uh, recent high and you buy here. So your trade setup looks something like this. Okay, This is your entry. This is your E, your entry. This is your stop loss and this is your take profit. Now, why is this such a bad idea? Because if you were to put your stop loss down here, which is a logical area since this is the prior uh, uh, swing low, okay, you want to put your stop loss below the swing low, what happens is that your, your stop loss is going to be very wide. Okay, you can see over here I written white stop loss and your profit is going to be very small. So this is very hard for you to be profitable because your risk to reward is very poor. Remember, in trading, you cannot get it right 100% of the time. So you must make sure that your winners are big enough to pay for your losers. Okay, that's the only way to make money. It's not by avoiding losses. It's by keeping your losses small and by maximizing your gains. So if you are chasing after breakouts, you are buying somewhere over here and putting such a white stop loss here, it's very hard for you to be profitable. Okay, the numbers just don't make sense. So over here, I have an example for you. So let's say that uh, let's say that uh, initially you you, you you this is the support that you identified. Okay, let me see if I can just clear this first. Okay, let's say this is a support you identified, and uh, you enter somewhere here on the breakout. So based on here to here, let's say the distance from uh, from this support to this resistance is hundred pips. So you know that okay, uh, if this level holds, then uh, I'm going to probably see here. Okay, that's your uh, trading analysis. So, but because you enter late and you enter somewhere here, and let's say here to here is only 30 pips less, uh, left, meaning that uh, the, the space between here to here is 30 pips left. 
what you have just done is you have increased your risk by 70 pips because remember you need to put your stop loss here so you just increase your risk while at the same time you're actually decreasing your profit so it's a it's, it's kind of like a sure way to lose money because you're not just reducing your profits you're increasing your risk right just think of it this way let's say you're going to a supermarket and you want to buy something and instead of buying on a sale uh you are going into a supermarket and maybe you're buying a wine at uh, the usual price is $20, you buy it at $30, but instead of getting the big bottle of wine, you get a smaller one. Instead of getting you know, this uh, big bottle of wine, you get this smaller one. And worse still, you're paying $30 for this, and this is $20. Does that make sense? It doesn't. So hopefully, I convince you that you shouldn't be chasing after breakouts, okay? It's very easy to say that you shouldn't ch chase after breakouts. It's not easy to do it, okay? But if you notice that you are always chasing after breakouts and you have a very wide stop loss and your take profit is very small as reflected by uh, your risk to reward, let's say you close the trade and you do not even make uh, whatever amount you risk, let's say you risk $100 and you do not even make $100, this is a sign that uh, you are making this mistake. Okay, and you want to make sure that you rectify it. Okay, you do not want to chase after breakouts. Okay, this is the mistake. Later on, as always, I will show you what's the right way to do it. How do you get a tighter stop loss so that you can have a good risk to reward trade? Now, let's move on to a mistake number two, which uh, I never talk about. Okay, this is something that is new to this channel because uh, we had a subscriber write in and ask this question. So uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, in this video. Mistake number two involves uh, trading small breakouts. Okay, so let me ask you, this is the chart. Uh, this chart over here, chart number one and chart number two, they are actually the same chart. Except that uh, in chart number one, I want, I want you to focus on the long-term direction of the uh, chart. So it's quite obvious that in this chart number one, it's a downtrend. You have a swing low, you have a swing high, you have a swing low, you have a swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, so on and so forth. So you are in a clear downtrend. So what do you want to do in a downtrend? You want to be selling. You don't want to be buying. Okay, Buying will be low probability because you're against the long-term trend. Now, let's look at this one over here. This is chart number two. Okay, What happens is that you do have some form of consolidation over here. And after that, you have a breakout of this level here. Okay, Let me just clear this again. So you can see that there's a breakout over here. Now, a mistake that a lot of traders make is that they ignore the fact that it's a long-term downtrend. Okay. They ignore that this is downtrend and they try to trade off this small pattern. This small pattern and then they start buying and then, you know, what happens after the breakout? Instead of price doing this and going up, it just goes back down and carries on trading downwards. Okay, so this is actually a fake out. This is a fake out. Again, we have a lot of videos on how to trade fake out. But what I'm trying to illustrate in this video is that you want to avoid this kind of setups where you're trading against the higher time frame or rather the long term trend. The long term trend is down and you are doing a counter trend breakout. Okay, this is very low probability. You want to avoid doing this. You know, I see a lot of people, they trade, you know, and then they say that whatever we teach don't work, right? It doesn't work because you do not understand the context. You do not understand that if you want to trade breakouts, you need to understand the higher time frame context or the long term trend. Okay, again, this kind of concepts are taught in our free day training guide over here. So please go get it, okay? Please. Just go get it and go and read it. Go study. It's totally free. Okay, right? There's really no reason why uh, you cannot learn from that trading guide. Now, what is the right way to do it instead? Okay, I pointed out two mistakes, but I want to show you what's the right way to do it. Okay, I've re previously recorded a lot of videos about breakout trading and this, uh, how to do it. But uh, just so that this video is complete, okay, and just so that, uh, you know, I don't want to assume that you watch this video. Uh, if you watch our other videos, okay, sorry about that. You didn't watch other videos. I want to just do a quick run through, okay? What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the top right hand uh, corner for you to check out if you have not checked out our breakout trading videos okay so what you want to do is instead you want to look for something i call the pre-breakout structure so what is a pre-breakout structure now the pre-breakout structure is when you have a series of engulfing patterns attacking the support and resistance level so in this case we have a support okay it's a very obviously support because price is supported here supported here supported here and uh, supported here before it broke down now you can see that there's a series of uh, engulfing pattern you have an engulfing pattern over here Okay, then you have one over here, you have one here, and then you have one here, and uh, after that, this one over here. So you can see that there's a series of engulfing patterns and um, hit, 
trying to uh, attack this level and squeezing the bulls out of the trade. Okay, you can also see that there is some form of descending trend line. So what does this mean? This means that the sellers at first they were selling here. After that, they are willing to sell here. And after that, they are selling here. And then after that, they are willing to sell here. So what does this show you? This shows you that there is strength. There is strength. The bears are gaining strength. They are willing to sell at a lower price. Okay, not a higher price. So this is a str strong sign that uh, the bears are in control and you want to trade this breakout in this direction. So when you trade in this manner, the powerful thing is that uh, let's say you enter over here. Let's say you enter somewhere here when uh, price uh, start breaking down. You do not need to put your stop loss over here above the swing high. So your, your stop loss doesn't have to be so wide. What you can do is you can just put the stop loss above uh, the recent uh, engulfing pattern. You can just put it here. So by trading this way, you get a lower um, lower risk trade meaning that the distance of your stop loss is lower so you can buy a bigger position size and this will set you up for success as price move down okay what you're essentially doing is you are tightening the stop and you're getting a higher reward to risk trade okay it means every dollar you risk you are going to make more money okay so this is the right way to do it again i did not go through exactly step by step but what you want to do is you want to uh, watch the the link in the top right uh, which i will leave uh, which i'll leave uh, on this video okay you just check this some something like an eye so let's talk about the bonus filter which is the last part of today's video okay this is a filter which you can incorporate into your current trading strategy if you are into trading breakouts okay this strategy works uh, regardless of instruments okay it works for bonds you can trade stocks you can trade uh, crude oil you can trade commodities it doesn't matter okay what you want to do is you want to be focusing on trading uh, instruments that are at all time high or low okay the specific criteria is all time high or low okay let me explain now when price is at an all time high or low there is no pyro structural levels so what happens is that if you look at this chart over here this is apple uh, i'm on a weekly chart you can see that this is all time high okay i call it ath all time high so if you want to sell it or if you know there are sellers in the market if you look left there is no market structure to reference. So what happens is that when there is no market structure to lean on, counter trend traders are less likely to come in. Okay, people are less likely to come in to, um, to start selling it. All this is more likely to be profit taking. Okay, PT, I call it profit taking. So this is a very good filter that you can use. Okay, you can use a stock screener. You can use some form of screener to filter out stocks or instruments that are trading at all time high or low and look for um, the uh, build up look for this pre-breakout structure or what I call the build up, okay? So this is how you apply the bonus filter, okay? Just to illustrate the point one more time, uh, this is the Apple, same Apple chart that I go through. So earlier I mentioned, if you look left, there's nothing, okay? So it's more likely that this breakout is going to be successful and you are trading with the trend. You can see that this is a clear up trend. There is no way this is a downtrend. If you can look at this and tell me that this is a downtrend, then uh, I think there's really something wrong with you because this is a very clear up trend. No matter how you look at it, it's uptrend. And if you look at the left, there's no market structure. So any breakout is likely to be successful. In fact, if you see there's a breakout here, breakout of the uh, two-week high, uh, price just went all the way up. Now, contrast this with this pound dollar, okay? Let's say uh, you see that price is going down and you want to trade a breakout toward the downside. You notice that there are a lot of levels. There's this level over here, you know, there's this level over here, there's this level over here, there's this level here, there's this level here. So what happens is that price is unlikely to just break out in one direction. It is more likely that price will do something like this, break out, retest, break out, retest, break out, retest. So in this kind of scenario, your breakouts might fail because uh, you know there's a lot of levels and this is why forex is very difficult to trade because there's a lot of fake outs okay so you if you want to trade breakouts this is a very good filter okay you do not have to stick to stock uh, to, to forex you can tra trade any stocks any instruments that uh, follow this criteria of uh, trading at an all-time high or low okay so just a recap for today's video uh, I started off this video by talking about the mistake number one which is do not chase after breakouts chances are you already know this you are probably ready to do this and every time you do it you probably you know you are very upset with yourself why are you chasing a trade okay that's normal right just uh, learn to slowly rectify the problem first recognize that you're making this issue okay so I talk about why the numbers don't make sense you are having a wide stop loss and you are setting yourself up for failure by uh, increasing your risk and lowering your reward
Okay, then I went on to talk about mistake number two is, is do not trade a small breakout against the big trend. If the big trend is down, do not do a bullish breakout. Okay, try to do the bearish breakout instead. Wait for price to break to the downside. Then I showed you the right way to trade instead, which is you trade breakouts that have a pre-breakout structure. So uh, you if it's a bullish, you want price to be something like that. Uh, sorry, this is not too good. This drawing is not too good. So you want to do something like that. Okay, and then you have like a trend line. It's kind of like ascending triangle. And then you put your stop loss just below uh, the, the recent uh, engulfing pattern. Okay, the same thing is true for the opposite. Let's say it's coming down and uh, it comes up like that, like that, like that, like that, then down. Okay, so same thing. You have a, like a trend line coming down and you have a series of engulfing patterns uh, of attacking uh, this support level. Okay. So, um, sorry for that. Let me just... Okay, and lastly, I have the bonus filter, which is you want to look for trades uh, which are trading at uh, all-time high or all-time low. Okay, you can use a filter to do it. Do that. The rationale that works is because there is no previous uh, market structure for counter-trend players to, uh, you know, use to use, rely on to take a counter trend trade. So it's higher probability that your breakout trade is going to be successful. Okay, so thanks for watching. Right? I hope you gain value from this video. If any questions, just leave a comment down below. We'd love to help you. Right? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. Right? We really, really appreciate it. Okay, if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.